Welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhelp, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. Nebraska men's basketball announced two changes to their upcoming schedule today. Originally planned for January 22nd, the Huskers will now face Ohio State in Columbus on Tuesday, March 1st at 6 p.m. Central. That 20, January 22nd game was rescheduled after health and protocol safety uh, guidelines were kicked in when the game was attempted to be played last month. The Huskers also announced that the Big Ten has moved fr uh, their game at Penn State up a day to Sunday, February 27th at 6 p.m. Central. The game was originally set for Monday the 28th. Both games will be covered right here on the Huskers radio network with pregame coverage beginning at 5 p.m. Central on both dates. Over to college basketball where tonight four men's Big Ten games are on and we look across those games now. It'll be Wisconsin number 14 in the country just tipping off moments ago against number 17 Michigan State. And three games will take place in the 8 p.m. block. Number 13 Illinois will battle number 8 Purdue. Michigan is at Penn State and Indiana is at Northwestern. In the top 25, Marquette is taking on, as a scoreboard loading up here, UConn. That's the 18 versus 24 in the country, and it's UConn out ahead 28 to 22 with seven minutes to go in the first half. Also just tipping off, number one, Auburn is taking on Arkansas. Number five, Kentucky is just underway against South Carolina. And later tonight, number 15, Villano Villano excuse me, Villanova is at St. John's at 7.30 p.m., Pacific will take on number 21 USC at 9, at 9 p.m. Central. And number 12 UCLA is at Stanford at 10. One more 10 o'clock game for you. Number 22 St. Mary's is at Santa Clara at 10 p.m. No Big Ten or top 25 women's basketball games on tonight, but we will have head coach of the women's basketball program right here at Nebraska, Amy Williams. She'll join us in the second hour with Matt Coatney for the Nebraska women's basketball show. And lastly, an Olympics update. No golds yet for Team USA, but they're up to five silvers and a bronze. Currently ranked 17th in the world in terms of total medal count of all Olympic participants. That's the ticker. My name's Tim Mulhelped, and you're listening to Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Rebound, Widener. Huskers, five-point lead in the ball. Widener right down the middle of the lane, running one hand. Baker good. Allison Widener, stand up up for Nebraska. He's got seven. Tries to jam it. Shot is blocked by Trey McGowan's. Run down by Webster. What a defensive play. Here comes Trey Webster, Trey McGowan's to Bryce McGowan's the drive, puts it up and in. Holy cow, the offensive play of the year for Nebraska. Craft in the deep right corner, bounces Great back pass. up. Moriarty scores off the assist from Monica Stewart and another timeout by Wisconsin. Great activity by Kendall Moriarty. And the return pass on the give and go, the skip pass, deep right corner, three on the way. Trey got it down. The Tracer with a three. Murkowski for three, and Alexis Threekowski. Another Threekowski for Alexis. That, she hardly looked. <laughs> Holy cow. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Thank you. Welcome to our Tuesday show. Glad you can spend a few minutes with us here tonight. We're honored. We're pri privileged to have you on board the next two hours. Tim mentioned we'll have our women's basketball show with the head coach Amy Williams coming up in hour number two. We're going to hear from another former Husker head coach, Darren Erstad, coming up here in just a little bit. Sad news over the weekend with the, the news that John Sanders, who led Nebraska's baseball program from 1978 until 1997, passed away. He recruited and coach Darren Erstad, who then ended up being the number one overall pick for the Major League Baseball draft. And then, of course, Darren went on to lead the Husker program for about a decade and won a conference title in 2017. So good to catch up with Darren coming up here in just a little bit. I'm a little depressed. Tim told us we have no gold medal so far in the games. Come on, let's go, USA. They're coming. It's still kind of things just getting started. We're just getting through preliminary rounds, and we've got snowboarding, which USA is usually really good at, coming up. And... Nathan Chen's going to get a gold for I think he like. He so, was great last night. Really good. It was so good to see because, you know, after 2018 and, and disappointing performance, and so for him to, you know, be able to – I think they, they quote tweeted it or tweeted it, redemption. 
So, <laughs> nice. Because he, nice. um, you know, bounced back and, and just had such a tough go um, the last time around. So I think he'll, you know, as solid as he was last night, I think he'll perform well again. So they're coming. They're coming. You mentioned snowboarding. Chloe Kim was just the darling of the games four years ago. She was a 17-year-old, won the half pike and all those type of things. Then she said she kind of hated the sport for a while. Just too much attention. She went to college. I think it's Princeton. It's one of the Ivy League schools. She's at college, and she said, boy, the first month there was just nothing but talking to her about her snowboarding. Then she said it kind of settled down, and she just kind of found her group and then refound her love for the sport. But she said she didn't really think she would compete in these games a couple of years ago, but then kind of found the, the, the momentum and the mojo to get back into it again. So she said she's excited and wants to go out and put another gold-level performance out there tonight. But I, that has to be. 17 years old, all that spotlight on you, that's a lot. I, I mean, I was just thinking, we, we talked about the Olympians from the summer games that are now freshmen in colleges and competing SUNY Lee, and then she was on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. and. It's got to be just a lot. I mean, I think that's why Simone Biles came out and had, you know, all the pressure that she dealt with and all the things that kind of came with being a superstar. And it, it kind of sometimes is instant. Like you mentioned, she was the darling because a lot of times these athletes might be not be known and then all of a sudden they win a gold medal and then they're everybody's favorite athlete, you know? So it kind of happens. It's like a gradual process even sometimes if you are kind of go in under the radar and then all of a sudden you come out with a gold medal, it's you are instant superstar status. People Magazine cover shoots, Sports Illustrated cover shoots, it's all over that if you become a gold medalist in either the summer or the winter games. And, and, and USA is not as good at the winter. The, we're, we're better at the summer games, mm -hmm. swimming and track and field, and those things were just so much more dominant. Gymnastics were good, but we're not probably the best in the world at the winter games. We just don't have as much winter weather in this country, and so we don't have as many people compete in those sports. Yeah, I mean, I think... We've got to get curling more in the forefront, <laughs> Jessica. They won more gold last, last they, time around. They did. I don't even know what the standings are. I feel like it, curling's always on TV, but I don't know what's going on because it's there's so much of it. There there's is. mixed doubles and there's, like, the teams. teams. I'm like, what is going on? Yeah. I don't even know when the... Just tell me when the gold medal round is, and yeah. if, if Team USA is in it, I'll watch. Yeah, uh, so I, I, that's my my passion <laughs> is curling to get to get going. So, uh, well, yeah, but we'll keep watching. As, as Jessica mentioned, we're still in the earlier stages. We're getting more to the middle part of the games, but it's still, I think they end on the 13th. I think, do they end the 13th? That can't be, that can't be, that's too soon. Uh, but yeah, we're, you know, the figure skating is uh, going on. In fact, right now we got USA on in here. I think they're replaying some of last night's uh, action going on there. Great, great hockey last night. Team, U I mentioned it on the show, Team USA, Team Canada. The United States outshot the Canadians like three to one, but lost four to two. So they'll have to try to get them now when they get into the medal round. But they're definitely going to be, I think, uh, in the medal contention. And we'll team USA. That was fun. I watched, I made it to the first period, and then I fell asleep. I think that's kind of that good that, you know, you let Canada, because it's such, such a rivalry, and you let Canada get the first one. It's hard to beat a team twice, especially in that, you know, period of time, that quick of a turnaround. So, hey, beat them when it counts. That's right. In the gold medal map. Hard to beat somebody round. twice, right? A couple of about a week's yeah, period. Hard to beat it's, them it's, twice. It's, it's hard to do that, and especially in a rivalry situation. Um, so, yeah, let them have this. That that one didn't matter. They yeah. Both of them had secured their spots. Just go get them in the gold medal match. All right. Uh, if you want to be a part of the program tonight, phone lines are always open and available for you. 402-413-2400 for calls and texts. This show made some news last night with some pretty harsh calls for Fred Hoiberg on his radio show last night. I think there's a, I think there's a perception out there that we don't take any call that we'll, we really screen people out. I think it's the beauty of sports on is that we don't. As long as you don't cuss, scream at somebody, we're going to let you say your piece to whether it's Scott Frost or Fred Hoiberg or Amy Williams or Will Bold or Trev Alberts, who it may be. I think there's some perception that we don't want to hear from the public. We do. I think last night was pretty close to the line of getting a little bit too personal with, with Fred Hoiberg on the program last night, but it did make a lot of waves. Jessica, I thought he handled it really well. Fred's a wonderful man. I think you and I both really like and enjoy being around him. We all hurt for him. He is as upset as anybody why this has not gone really well. It's not from a lack of trying. They're trying. They're, they're giving the effort to turn this thing around. But it's just been a rough go of it for the men. Yeah, I mean, he is one of the nicest human beings on the on the planet. And so it is, it's tough. And I'm with you. I mean, that, the coaches enjoy hearing from fans, too. I mean, even when... Trevor Alberts comes on. He likes hearing from fans. I mean, I think 
Amy Williams loves hearing from fans. Most of the coaches love hearing from them, and that's part of it. And, and I, you know, I think they all know that's kind of what you sign up for, you know, some of the negativity. And, I, you know, there's a lot of frustration, but I do have a problem with the kind of the attacking nature of some of it. You know, you can call in and, and express your frustrations, and, and that's absolutely – I mean, a lot of these – a lot of fans, a lot of people pour in a lot of money and, and spend their time to go watch these teams. And I totally understand the frustration. I think everybody does. And there is nobody more frustrated than the people in that locker room. But I, I do hope that people keep it, you know, where you're not attacking somebody and, and right. kind of crossing that line where you're being hurtful and hateful. And I also hope people keep in mind, too, that when you're at these games and totally, again, not by any means saying don't express your frustrations, but you have to remember too, these recruits that are up and coming, there's a lot of sports. I mean, we, we talked about it, the football team took their recruits to, to PBA for a basketball game. Keep in mind that those recruits are sitting in the stands when you, you know, yell some of those hurtful things or, or boo or tweet hurtful things and, and that kind of cross the line. I mean, these recruits see all of that, too. So you have to be mindful of, of that as well. I do want to tip my cap. I was at the game Saturday. I did not really hear boos. That's and good. That was, I mean, I, I wasn't there and people had said that there were boos. That so was the know. game that, my goodness, if you're going to, you probably could have. I mean, yeah. it, it was a, it, they were down 30 at one point in that game last night but I just wanted to get that out there because I, I know there's a perception that you know we, we just uh, and we absolutely we do work for the athletic department we are Husker folks so I mean but we also do want to hear from you if you can give constructive criticism so again the lines are open for you at 402 413 2400 let's start out North Platte Jim going to lead us off tonight good evening Jim welcome to the program well I thank you both my first question is how is the coach Scott Frost doing with the COVID and I hope he's doing well and a way I'm looking forward to August and the way I'm not the reason I'm not looking forward to August I'll be 71 <laughs> but I'm ready for Nebraska Husker football I want to get back to 8, 9, 10, 12 wins get back to a bowl game go big red uh-huh. All right, Jim, appreciate it. No, I'm looking forward to August as well. He's doing well. He's doing, thank you for asking. I, I, he, he had a press conference last week. He looked good. He sounded good. I think he's put all that behind him. Not only did he get COVID, he, he, they've got influenza. So he kind of had a double barrel of that in early January. But he's fully recovered. I thought he looked good. Yeah, I mean, because you, you had said you'd talk to him. So sometimes that's, some of that stuff lingers, you know. Sure can. People, so yeah. good that he's feeling good and um, get back to it. You know, Will Bolt had it. Um, not this past fall and boy it took him six eight weeks before he had it really got into his lungs and the congestion got into his lungs and he had the, a coughing fit he in fact he and coach Ravel softball coach have press conferences tomorrow softball opens in three days how about that I'm ready for it ready to go around the country opening day for softball for the NCAA all right buckle up put that phone down it's a reminder from the NDOT highway safety office when we come back the former baseball coach, Husker Hall of Famer Darren Erstad is going to join us. Going to reminisce with him about his old coach, Coach Sanders, who passed away last week. The Grand Isle native coached the Huskers for 20 years and racked up over 700 wins on the bench for the Big Red. We're back to talk to Darren next. You're in the driver's seat with Woodhouse. Shop, finance, and buy your next vehicle your way. From the comfort of your home at Woodhouse.com, one of our 19 dealerships, or a combination of both, it's that easy. Plus, offering the most wanted new makes and leading pre-owned models, your next vehicle is on the lot or on its way. Shop confidently with the Woodhouse team today. Serving customers and communities since 1975, this is Woodhouse. From vintage sneakers to bacon-scented soap to water fountains for your pet, all can be had with a few simple clicks. Problem is, you never really know what you're going to get until they show up at your door. Introducing Ford Blue Advantage. It's used car buying that's built for you. Not only can you shop for used vehicles online, in person, or both, you can also test drive before you buy, so you know exactly what you're getting. Plus, get history reports, vehicle inspections, Ford warranties, and the expertise of factory-trained techs. Visit FordBlueAdvantage.com today. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. During the summer of 2021, three UNL students helped safeguard cattle across the state. Neely Anderson, 
Tatiana Jones and Ashton Commons developed secure beef supply plans that prevent the spread of disease outbreak. The plans protect nearly 850,000 cattle across our state and provide greater economic security for this vital industry. Drives it all the way in, changes hands and hits it and then one. He draws the foul. What a great move by Bryce McGowan's down the alley and the Huskers take the lead. Holy cow, little shake and bake mac and cheese move. Hey Huskers fans, Huskers Hoops is back in action as Nebraska hosts Minnesota tomorrow at PBA. Pre-game coverage begins at 6 p.m. Central with tip-off at 7. Tune into your local affiliate or by visiting Huskers.com or using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Touchdown, Nebraska! If you're doing business in Nebraska, the best way to connect your organization with the excitement surrounding the Huskers is through a partnership with Nebraska Athletics. You can take your business to the next level by reaching loyal Husker fans through in-venue signage, digital and social media, radio advertising, and more. Got it! Join the Husker team today and email partners at huskers.com to learn more about opportunities to connect with Husker Nation. That's partners at huskers.com. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. This isn't the start. Before I got here, I started training. And before that, I did something to my back. But my first move was Athletico Physical Therapy. That's where I'd eventually end up. So why not start there? I mean, my therapist immediately found the source of my pain. These are the same physical therapists who work with elite marathon runners. So soon, I was back to running, but without pain. <sighs> you got this. It all starts at Athletico. Schedule your free assessment at athletico.com. Did you know that cigarette butts make up a large portion of microplastics in the ocean, which end up in 70% of seabirds and 30% of sea turtles? Bank of the West is helping to solve this problem by not financing big tobacco, proving that what a bank chooses not to finance can be just as important as what it does. Learn more about what we do and don't finance at bankofthewest.com slash change. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections, when it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment. And you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. Cornerstone Bank proudly serves Nebraska with a full line of loan and deposit products. Cornerstone is large enough to handle all of your financial needs while offering the personal service you deserve and the local decision-making you expect from a family-owned community bank. Stop in or call one of the Cornerstone Bank locations near you to discover the Cornerstone difference. Bank on a solid foundation. Cornerstone Bank. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Loan subject to approval. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. It's the Midwest premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Former Husker baseball coach John Sanders passed away last week. He was uh, rode, rode the bench for the Huskers from the late 70s up until the late 90s, and his greatest pupil was Darren Erstad, who then ended up being a Husker head coach for a few years. He joins us now. He's a Hall of Famer. Coach, great to have you with us today. I hope you're doing okay. Life's pretty darn good. Can't complain, Greg. John Sanders, what do you think about when you think of that name? That's a guy that found you in North Dakota and brought you to Lincoln. He sure did. Um, I'm just very grateful that he offered me a scholarship sight unseen and gave a kid from North Dakota a chance. I mean, that was my only scholarship offer, my first scholarship offer, and uh, uh, you know, just for him to do that and take a chance on me and basically just to bring a videotape 
to Lincoln on a recruiting trip to watch watch a VHS tape. That's all he had seen of me, and offered me a scholarship. Uh, I thank him a lot for that. He he averaged I think like thirty seven, thirty eight wins in his tenure as Husker coach. You kind of know how that is. It's a different era now in college baseball, but he certainly ran out a lot of good teams in his time here, didn't he? Gosh, especially when we were there, we had unbelievable talent, and just we never ever could, you know win those huge games and get over the hump and get to regionals. But yeah, very consistent and uh, just always knew how to recruit talent. And uh, we talk about it as a group all the time. We're like, how in the heck did we not do better? <laughs> we had like six guys that played in the big leagues on the team, two first round picks, and uh, yeah, we just I guess the players just couldn't get it done. But uh, yeah, boy, he sure had an eye for talent. What was his personality like, Darren? Uh, you know, he he was a lot like me, and I think that's why I, I just I really liked him as a coach. He's very fiery, very intense. Uh, he can be tough on you, and uh, that's you know for me, that's uh, something that I'd probably never had up to that point in my life. And, and like my dad always told me, he said, "Look, you're going to face all different kinds of coaches uh, throughout your career, and uh, you just have to be able to adjust and, and figure it out." But I, I really fed off his intensity, and, and that's the one thing I remember most about him. You played at Buck Belcher, which is no longer in existence here. Do you, you got any good Buck Belcher stories for us? Oh, I'm a terrible storyteller, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's the, you know, just I still remember sitting there in that that office uh, for the recruiting visit. It was the weekend of the uh, fall '91. Washington was the football game, great football game, even though we lost, but. You know, we put that VHS tape in, and there were some highlights of football, and there were me kicking, and he's like, oh, well, we got to get you a trial for the football team. <laughs> and it's like, well, that's, you know, obviously sounded great on a recruiting trip, but then sure enough, it happened. And, uh, you know, so I can thank him for getting that, that ball rolling. And he sat there in that office and told me, he goes, look, we're going to get you to the big leagues. I'm sure he says that to a lot of people, but you know what? He, he did it. So, you know, he <laughs> kind of backed up the things he said, which was great, and Outside of stories at the Buck, I mean, I played left field there, and Avery Avenue ran around the backside with the chain link fence in the days it rained. All the cars would drive by and splash water onto the grass. So <laughs> playing in water over your ankles because there was no warning track. Uh, I don't think they put a warning track in until they hosted regionals a few years later. But uh, that was a uh, – it did feel definitely had a little bit of character to it. Did you see John at all after your college days? You know, he, you know when he when he was let go here – I think that kind of left a bad taste in his mouth and really didn't uh, stay in touch with many people. Uh, you know, we tried to reach out over the years uh, as a group, but really not much response back. And then just, I, w I was, we were going to play Cincinnati Reds out in Florida uh, in spring training. I was getting ready with the Astros and his voice is booming. I mean, you can hear that voice over anybody. He had come down the line, uh, left the line and c came and say hi. And I uh, had a great talk with him right before the game and, uh, kind of caught up, and I think he was scouting with the Red Sox at the time. And then after that, never uh, never heard from him again. Wow. So uh, I think he ended up in Georgia. But, uh, yeah, it was uh, kind of a strange situation. But our time was uh, fantastic. And, and the great thing is he recruited a bunch of great guys that we still stay in touch with. And it was great to see a lot of tributes, even though I don't have Facebook. Uh, my wife showed me some of the former teammates that wrote some nice things about him, so it, uh, it was nice to see that. That's great. Husker Hall of Famer Darren Erstad with us here on Sports Night talking about the passing of John Sanders from last week. Darren, I want to go uh, fast forward a couple of a decades to a guy that you coached at Nebraska that broke into the big leagues this last summer. Your thoughts about Jake Myers and, and what he did uh, with, with the Astros, an organization that you finished your playing days with. How about that? What a great story. What a, what a great season. I mean, you talk about, I mean, before COVID, you know, that first year, they, you know, he didn't hit for much power. Who knows where he was in the pecking order. You know, that COVID year where, you know, you can either get better or you get worse. He obviously put a ton of work in and continued to get better and just threw up ridiculous numbers in the minor leagues and got his chance in the big leagues and not only got his chance, but then just thrived and, and you know, never stopped. And even after pitchers started making adjustments to him, he just he just kept hitting. And it was great to see. And defensively, just, uh, you know, a tough break playing the White Sox. Obviously, you know, you're not surprised him running full speed into a wall. Uh, that was, you know, unfortunately got hurt and didn't get to be on the roster the next series. But um, just couldn't be happier for him. And just a great kid, hardworking kid. And I like to say I'm surprised, but gosh, I, I'm not really that surprised. He just has that look in his eye and determination to – not be beaten. I hope he has a long career. 
You know, Darren, I think we all love the way he played the game when he was at Nebraska, and he was a heck of a pitcher for you as well. He didn't have great stuff, but he knew how to kind of he, he kind of knew how to work the game, didn't he, when he was on the mound? Yeah, I mean, I, I still to this day think he had one of the best changeups I've ever seen. You know, I always thought Troy Brown way back in the day had the best changeup I'd ever seen, and I, I think Jake's might be better, but. Uh, you know, yeah, I mean, you look at him, he plays all weekend, and then we put him on Sunday because Sunday's all about who has a stronger will and who just loves the game of baseball more. And what better guy to have on, on, on Sunday going on the mound and just going out there and out-competing everybody. And, yeah, like you said, he, he could see what hitters were going to do. He could move his fastball all around and could throw that change up at any time. And, uh, yeah, just uh, you, it was the thing I loved about Sunday's is uh, everybody knew he was on the mound, and you could just feel the energy from the team because they just knew something good was going to happen on Sundays. That's a really good feeling to have. Yeah, you guys, you guys own Sundays that year with him pitching for you on, on the third game of those series. I want to ask you about Trev Alberts. I, I know you, you guys were both here on campus at the same time. He was a couple of years older than you, but your thoughts about him now running Husker Athletics? Well, I couldn't be more pumped for him. Um, just you know, I don't know if I've heard a bad word about him. I've gotten to know him a little bit over the over time, and when he was at Omaha, he'd always come over when he was at the baseball games and, and say hi uh, before games. And just uh, you know, we have a lot of mutual friends, and I'm just pumped that, he, that he's in charge. And uh, the thing I, I love about him is I know he'll he'll do what's best for the state of Nebraska, not just for his own personal stuff, but he's uh, he wants to get everything right. And uh, I'm just pumped to be sitting back and watching it. I don't know that I know a bigger Husker football fan. How tough was last season on you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still there cheering. Yeah. So, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm in for the good and the bad. I'm, I'm in for the long haul. And same with basketball, volleyball, baseball, you name it, wrestling. It doesn't matter what sport. Uh, I, I love following it all. And uh, it's just, uh, you know what? That just makes the good times even better. And uh, they'll get it figured out. But it's, uh, it's one of those things where you just have to be patient and, I uh, just really appreciate the good times when they're there because uh, it wanes hard. <laughs> oh, it is, and no doubt. You okay, everybody? Good in the family? Are you enjoying some uh, some time away from working? Life's great. <clears throat> Life's great. So, yeah, we both boys are playing hockey in uh, Omaha, and we travel pretty much all over the country. And I get to help coach both boys and be on the bench for their games. And our daughter's dance team just got back from Orlando and uh, had a really good national uh, tournament. So, it's fun to see fun to see what they're doing and be a part of it and be supportive and uh, just uh, just very fortunate to get to do that and everybody says I'm going to be bored when I'm not working I haven't found a way to be bored yet so I'm, I'm doing just fine. <laughs> That's great, Darren. We appreciate. It. Thank you so much for going down Memory Road. I wish we could get you on a little different circumstances, but it's always great to catch up with you. Uh, be safe, and we'll see you at the ballparks. Thanks, Greg. See you. There he is, Husker Hall of Famer, former head coach of the baseball team, Darren Erstad, joining us on our Sports Nightly Hotline, brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, buy online at woodhouse.com. All right, we're going to open up the phone lines and text signs, 402-413-2400. Jessica will rejoin me next. The game isn't just about winning or losing. It's about the snacks they share after they've used up all their energy in the field. It's the early morning practice before school and staying late after to get a couple more kicks in. It's the pride they feel for their team and the determination to always keep improving. Sure, the game isn't always about winning or losing, but when they've won the big game and celebration is in full swing, there's only one thing left for you to do. Get them home safe. Buckle up in back. Paid for by NDOT Highway Safety Office. Attention anyone standing near a mud puddle. Trucks and Bucks is back, so take cover. The Nebraska Lottery's most popular scratch game is roaring down the road again. And this year, we're giving away eight blue 2022 Ford F-150 XLT Super Crew Flex Fuel trucks. So buy a $2 Trucks and Bucks ticket today. You could win a new Ford F-150 and make a real splash in your neighborhood. Ford F-150 is a registered trademark owned and licensed by Ford Motor Company. Top prize odds won in 336000 At Subaru, they love building vehicles for those who pack a lot into life. The redesigned 2021 Crosstrek is their way of saying more power to you. An upgrade in horsepower means you have a world of fun and adventure waiting for you. And the Crosstrek comes with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. Love, it's what makes Subaru, Subaru. 
Visit Dato Subaru at 27th Street and Jamie Lane in Lincoln or at DatoSubaru.com. Upgraded horsepower available on select models. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Bell on extended right side, Scoggins. She'll step into a three. You betcha. Career high 20th point for Ashley Scoggin and a timeout for Maryland. Hey, Nebraska fans, Huskers women's hoops is off to Columbus to take on the 21st ranked Buckeyes this Thursday. Pre-game coverage begins at 5.45 p.m. Central with tip-off at 6. Tune into your local affiliate or by visiting Huskers.com or using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Huskers fans, it's time to plan your dream trip to Ireland and see your team face the Northwestern Wildcats at Aviva Stadium in Dublin, Ireland. Single game tickets are on sale now at huskers.com forward slash Ireland. Start the 2022 season in the best way. Plan your dream trip to Ireland and see your team face the Northwestern Wildcats at Aviva Stadium in Dublin, Ireland. Buy your single game ticket today at huskers.com forward slash Ireland. You could win a 2022 Porsche Macan from Porsche Omaha this season. Four lucky Husker fans will have a chance to win a 2022 Porsche Macan if they make a putt on the court at halftime at one of four home men's basketball games this season. Each contestant will receive a pair of tickets, hospitality, and a visit with the broadcast team before one of the home games with Ohio State, Rutgers, Northwestern, or Iowa. For more information and the official rules, go to huskers.com slash putt. When you're a sports fan, it's kind of like having a new love interest. You want to know all about them. Only, instead of learning about someone's third grade crush, you want to know the latest scores, stats, and lineups. To get that, you need Cox Internet. Cox gives you that window to look deeply into your beloved team's soul. Not to mention their injury list. Cox. We're sports 24-7. Learn more at cox.com sports. Everyone knows that Dakota Mac is known for their great rates on long-term fixed ag real estate loans. But just how long-term are they? They're even longer term than the silent treatment your mom gave you after she found out you backed over her peony bushes with the riding lawnmower. Even though it could have happened to anyone. Oof. Talk about long-term. Hi, it's Boyd Minry from Dakota Mac. Give me a call at 402-463-4637 to learn all about our competitive rates on 30-year fixed rate loans. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. The university has a new undergraduate business and law major. Students majoring in business and law are learning to use legal knowledge to better solve business challenges. They are also gaining skills in regulatory compliance, financial services, securities regulation, and corporate social responsibility. Upon graduation, they will boost the state's talent pool in these critical areas of expertise. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Thanks again to Darren Erstad for spending a little time with us. I miss that guy. You spent a lot of time with him during baseball season, but he's enjoying an early retirement. Must be nice to be able to retire at like whatever he is, 48 <laughs> years old, retired. <laughs> Hey, daycare <laughs> business in uh, yeah, the major leagues are right. playing pro ball, and then you can you can do that. That's exactly right. It sounds like he's enjoying life. Appreciate him being part of the program tonight. 402-413-2400. You can fire us off a call or a text. Let's start with John and Lincoln. Good evening, John. Welcome to the program. Yes, I'm just wondering. Uh, I was really happy when Scott Frost took a pay cut. And then he renegotiated uh, his contract and also his buyout. I wonder why we can't have our basketball coach do the same thing, or do you think he would uh, even consider that? 
We could. Yeah, I think that may be talked about. And, John, appreciate it. Thanks for the phone call. You know, I think, you know, Trev has shown the ability to – I think I think that was Trev's kind of influence on Scott, and, and maybe the same things being talked about with Fred. That could be a, something real that happens. Yeah, I mean that was, um, it, and it was awesome for Scott to say, "Hey, you know, I can, I can get this done." And and I'm, you know, I think it shows a lot of confidence that he knew that you know they were close, and and you know, give me a year, I'll get it done. But yeah, I mean, you never know what's going on behind closed doors, and and what um, talks are being had, and and what tweaks could be made, and and all of that. But um, I. It, absolutely. I mean, I think probably everything's on the table, right? Yeah. I, I mean, it, it, unfortunately, we're at this spot where it, it probably has to be. When you're sitting there at O and whatever they are in the league right now, that's the reality of where you are. You can't just stand pat. you got to try to figure something out. But i got faith in Trev. I think he'll figure something out with what to do that. I think he and Scott sat down and came up with a really good plan. And I like what football's done the last two months. And hopefully the same thing can happen with the men's basketball program as well. Let's go up to Minnesota. Tim, you're up next here on Sports Highly. Good evening. Good evening again. Hey, uh, the, that one thing that I kind of decided to table for another time with Coach Hoiberg was something that um, I heard in an interview um, on Saturday with, with Henry T. Buchanan. Um, I remember him, you know, you know, having some a lot of good moments um, when he played. That was actually when I was in col- college myself. But one, one thing he said that did kind of um, either it bothered me and or it, you know, I just didn't agree with it. And I remember him talking to, I think it was Derek Walker, just being told that uh, basically it was um, disparaging the sportsmanship of helping opponents up, you know, I guess maybe because it seemed like it was at the expense of playing tough. Um, and, uh, you know, and I, I, I appreciate you know, you know, you guys have a lot of times talked about our athletes, especially recently, you know, with the great character and sportsmanship that they show. And that's one thing I especially appreciate. I certainly, I think, understand where Buchanan's coming from. Um, because, you know, when you're not playing, you know, if, 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 if that takes away your toughness, I can see where that is. But there's plenty of examples, I believe, though, of – uh, you know, some of the toughest guys who um, show some of the best um, sportsmanship that there is, you know, either from the Huskers and, and even though he didn't necessarily play, a guy who kind of embodied that toughness was Coach Ron. It, it was and is Coach, Coach Ron Brown, and I even think of people like Mike Singletary. And so um, <clears throat> I just wanted to put that out there. You know, I, I, I'm all for, you know, getting – being tough and we do need to get tough on the board but that's one thing that really kind of stuck out to me <clears throat> and, I, and I also have to say I really enjoy that color gym from North Platte um, you know folks, um, whatever you know he puts it really simply but he, you know there might be people who maybe have more background or knowledge but there are a few things I've heard with more class than, than this guy from what I've heard. Good. Um, so I All guess right. that's it. Thanks, Tim. Appreciate the call. Yeah, I didn't hear uh, Tim, our producer, works men's basketball and said that, yeah, uh, Buchanan was talking to, to Kent on the postgame show and did say that he thinks our guys are too nice. I, I, I don't agree with that. I, I think, you know, you, you play the game, you respect the game, you respect the opponents that you're playing, but I mean, that's a different mindset. Buchanan played in the late 80s, I think, is when he played here for Nebraska. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of how basketball is now. I mean, all these guys know each other and have played against each other. It's kind of like what we heard in volleyball. It's a small world. A lot of these guys that are elite talents have played against each other. They, a lot of them know each other, follow each other on social media. But, I mean, I've seen some guys get pretty chippy. Uh, um, Trey McGowan's has gotten sure. in at some people. And um, even Bryce has a couple times not, not back down. And so I, I, don't, I wouldn't necessarily I – don't, I don't think they're too nice. I, yeah, I don't think that's the issue. Yeah. No, you know, I, I, I think there's a, there's a little bit of toughness to this team. I think they they lack decisions. They make poor decisions at times, poor shot selection at times. I think that's They go probably, through droughts of not being able to right, score right. that really put them in a hole or let teams get back in games or not allow them to put away games. But, 
I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't think being too nice. Toughness. Is, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't think, yeah, being too soft or that's, I don't think that's the issue. You know, and Tim, last night called and asked the coach if he thought conditioning was an issue Saturday, and, and Coach Hoiberg said, no, that, that wasn't it. it they, just, they were a step slow. That happens sometimes in sports. It's just not there for you. It was really disappointing to see that being back home. You thought they'd have a little fight to them. They just, they were slow on closeouts. They were slow getting around picks. They just, they were, they were behind all night. Yeah, and I mean, guys, and then allowed Northwestern to get hot. I mean, you, right. you know, those shooters see a couple go in in a row, and then you just believe everything's going in, and that's such a big part of it. It's a reason why we sit, talked about last night, C.J. Wilcher. He, he comes in and hits his first one. That usually bodes well for C.J. Wilcher when his first one goes down. So if you're a shooter and you see one go down, and then you see two go down, and then it's like it, it's just it can be a snowball effect. And I think – then Northwestern got some confidence. They were hitting so many threes, and then I think they stopped fighting over screens, and then it just kind of got it, – it got out of hand so quickly, I feel like, you know. So um, then, I, yeah, so I, I just – I think um, that I, – I, yeah, they just didn't fight at, at once it got out of hand. They didn't fight hard enough to get back in it. Yeah. Tim, appreciate the phone call. 402-413-2400. Dennis on our text line said that he remembers when John Sanders was Nebraska's baseball coach and he and his brother used to go out and shag foul balls for the Nebraska team, got to know guys like Paul Myers, and so that was a real kick. That, that's one of the great things about that sport. You go out there while they're taking BP and you can chase down balls that go over the fence or go out of play and you go pick them up, throw them back into the guys, and that is kind of a fun part of the game. Yeah, it's awesome when you're the home team and you get to know those guys, but yep. then on the road at Arkansas, right? Uh, oh, they're our a little, guys they're were, a little loud, yeah. We're getting after making some friends out there in the <laughs> outfield as well, right? Crypto wants to know about uh, when, when they play Long Beach State. Is it in California? No, it's not crypto. They're coming here. The dirt bags are coming to Lincoln for a series. Nebraska played out in Long Beach. Oh, it's been five or six years ago. They played a series out there against uh, the dirt bags of Long Beach State. So this is the return trip of that home and home. It took about five years to get it coming back here, but they, they're not going out there this year. They played out there in the past, but they're not going out there this year. Uh, they were supposed to play last year in the Dodger Town Classic, which would have been so cool for the team and Heck, for the broadcaster to call a game at Dodger Stadium, but COVID had other ideas. Got hey, that thing how's wrecked. how's TCU uh, going to be? Be good. They're ranked yeah. in the top 20. That'll be a really good series, and that'll be fun. And playing at Globe Life Park, which is the home of the Texas Rangers down there. I know we had a gal from the Alumni Association on a few weeks ago. They've got a big event on Saturday before the game at noon. Uh, Husker fans, it's free. It's open to the public. Come by and mingle with some Husker fans, and then go on and cheer uh, the crowd. So that's that's the new stadium, right? Brand it new. is nice. I've been I've been there. It's awesome. Brand new. It's only been open. They played the World Series there during the COVID year of 2020 because uh, they kept yeah. it um, kept it uh, neutral site because they didn't want teams traveling and flying back and forth. So they played it all right there at the new home of the Rangers. So that'll be a fun weekend down there. Sam Houston State, the opener, they're not bad either. They're usually right up the top of their league as well. So that's one of those programs that you don't know a lot about, but they're not bad either. So you build your non-conference schedule in baseball to help your RPI, because they still use the RPI in baseball. They don't use it anymore in basketball, but they still use it in baseball. So you got to play good teams in your non-con and build up your RPI. And the Dirtbags are one of those. Long Beach State, another good program out west. All right, I need to take a break. 402-413-2400, the number to dial us up with a comment or question. And you can fire off a text as well. We've got some of those floating in, and we're up on our YouTube stream. We've got a couple more minutes left in the program, and then we're handing it off to Matt Cotney, Amy Williams, for the Women's Basketball Show for the week. That's straight ahead. Come on back. Looking for a great Christmas gift idea? Look no further than expanding your loved one's Husker closet with an item from the new 255 collection, inspired by legendary coach Tom Osborne. With high quality at the forefront, 255 can be worn anywhere, from sporting events and business meetings to backyard get-togethers. No matter the occasion, 255 is about feeling confident, looking good, and celebrating the remarkable coaching career of Tom Osborne. Shop now at Huskers.com or participating retailers. For more information, visit Huskers.com slash 255. Okay, let's get a photo of the bride and groom standing next to that giant mud puddle. Good. Now smile. Oh, honey, don't look now, but you're covered in mud. Oh, so is your white tux. You know what this means, don't you? Trucks and bucks from the Nebraska Lottery is back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the happiest day of my life. Don't you think we should head to the nearest Nebraska Lottery retailer? I do. 
Trucks and Bucks is back, and you could win one of eight new trucks. Top prize odds one in 336,000. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug free, and a cost effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. There is no place like Nebraska, and there's no place that treats you like home, like Sap Brothers. For 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and been a reliable partner to local farms and Husker fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your farming equipment and welcoming guests into their travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Drive bold, drive GMC. You never know what lies ahead, so trust the powerful and innovative features of the 2022 GMC Canyon or elevate your driving experience with the driver-focused technologies and handcrafted materials in the 2022 GMC Sierra 1500. Experience the difference at Woodhouse Buick GMC. We make it easy to shop, finance, and purchase in-store or online at WoodhouseBuickGMC.com. Woodhouse Buick GMC. We are professional grade. Our Sports Sunday Hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance, buy online at woodhouse.com. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you for a few more minutes here on a Tuesday night. Sports Sunday here on the Huskers Radio Network. Our women's basketball show for the week coming up next hour. Matt Cody, Amy Williams. Get your comments, questions ready for the coach. Huskers will be on the road for two more games this week at Ohio State, Thursday at Illinois, Saturday, back home to play Indiana on Valentine's Day on Monday. So busy stretch for for that group. Uh, That'd starting. be a big win at Ohio State. Sure would. Be a nice nice win. Mm-hmm. For sure. Ch- be a good resume builder. You know, I think they're just outside the top 15 of net now, but that would probably put them back, back in. in that top 15. You know, uh, interesting story I came across about the Olympic Games. Um, you know, athletes work their entire lives to get to the Games. Five female skiers were disqualified from the mixed team jumping event for wearing clothes that officials deemed were too baggy. According to the women who were from Austria, Japan, Norway, Germany, so it wasn't just one country skiers, it was a group of skiers, they were disqualified because the judges ruled that their clothing was too loose and could give them an advantage while they were in the air for the ski jump. However, the women had already had their outfits cleared earlier for some earlier jumps, so that's why they were apparently really sh- Why wouldn't they be shocked? To now a judge come to go, no, you're out. You, the, well, wait, you let me jump earlier. Now why are you kicking me out? Well, how do you make that mistake? Yeah, you'd think that, especially with that sport where it is, you have to have be airborne. You'd think that it, would be a big part of getting your, your yeah. stuff approved. And once you get it checked in and it's good to go, then you shouldn't be disqualified after that. Like, it should go through one process at the beginning of the competition. You're cleared. You're good. It shouldn't be. I don't know why it's even being re- revisited again. One of the athletes said, told the AP, wrote, I'm reading this off of an AT, AP story, that they, she goes, I think they've destroyed women's ski jumping. I have checked so many times in 11 years of ski jumping and have never been disqualified. I know my suit was compliant. I've done World Cup starts, World Championship starts. I'm a three-time Olympian, and now I get hard, and now I get disqualified? What a joke. What's going on? How, who's, it's crazy. And, and they're, you know, with those sports, especially, you know, these sports that we see in the Olympics, a lot of times... Yeah, they have World Cups and they have other things and they have, you know, 
the world championships, but look, the biggest thing is the Olympics. This and is so, it. you know, in eight years is a long stretch. If you think about your training for four years, you don't get to compete or you get disqualified, something like that. And then you have to train another four years. Wow. A lot of the athletes can't do that. Like it's just not doable for them and their bodies and going through that. And so it stinks something like that, that would prevent them from competing. Cause this is what you work for. They don't, you know what's crazy too? I don't know if you saw the articles a few years back about a lot of times these athletes they don't can't have jobs, right? Because they have to train and work all the time to prepare and, yeah. and get themselves ready to even qualify. So, and a lot of them don't make the big money on the sponsorships. So they don't make they are not rich and um, you know rolling in the dough a lot of times. And, and even when you win, I think it's like what fifteen thousand dollars for a bronze, something like that. It's not and, life-changing money. And so it's just, and then I think it's taxed. And so I, it's, even if, you know, some of these athletes that don't have a lot of uh, hype or endorsements, it's it's a really tough go at it. And so for it just to come down to that would be absolutely devastating. You just, and, and the event had already started. They had already competed. And it, their clothing had been cleared earlier in the day. Then come back to them as the finals are about to go and say, now you're out. This is it's crazy to, to do that. A couple of qu questions coming in on the text line. Have they started installing the new turf at Memorial Stadium? No. Uh, that's going to happen after the spring game. In fact, the spring game is April 9th. It's a little bit earlier than normal, but there's a reason. They want to get the turf out because they're going to have graduation outside in mid-May, and they want to have it down. So that's why the game's on the night. So they'll rip it out after the spring game and get new turf put in there. And then uh, part two of that question, how's the new construction coming along? Great. It's a, a lot of steel's gone up since winter came. A lot of steel's up there. And it's getting lighter outside by the time we start the show. So you can see, well, it's kind of blocked off right now, but you can kind of see if you watch on the YouTube stream out the window uh, a little bit of the progress. But, yeah, they're going up and they're working Nonstop. Yeah, good stuff. We've been trying to get Brendan Stye to come in and kind of give us an update on fundraising for that and other things. He's elusive. He's just really he's big, but he's elusive. <laughs> I can't I can't get a hold of him. Now he's been on some vacation. They've had some uh, booster and donor events in different parts around the country, so that's why. But he said he's promised me he'll come in and talk to us. That'd be nice because I mean it, it'd be awesome to hear his take on. Um, everything that's gone we yeah. haven't talked to him in since what iowa, the I, iowa game? Uh, last time i saw him was iowa week so i know we have jeremiah but i, I always like hearing from brendan as well on on all of his and he opinions. won his pick segment right yeah he did i think so yeah <laughs> but he didn't show up half the time right? no he didn't <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't send my picks in half the time. I missed a couple of shows and missed my picks. And yeah, so, uh, but yeah, he, um, he would always bet on the Mac, which, you know, he's an expert at. Because well, his son plays, his son at, Ohio. plays yeah. at Ohio. Yeah. So he would always get the double down bets. I wouldn't know those. I don't follow <laughs> that league very well. So I don't, that's cheating. He made nah, a killing cheating. betting on the Mac. It's not, yeah. Or picking the Mac. Yeah, it's not cheating, I guess, but he has an advantage because he has inside sources uh, for that conference. So we're going to do that and get an update because I know they're still out raising money for that. Uh, so we'll, we'll get we'll get Tiny in here and let see what he's Tiny. been up to. That's that's his nickname. <laughs> that's his name. Doesn't fit? Does that not fit? No. And then you know, it's also I still can't get that image out of my mind. Him trying to pretend to be Lil Red. How little red goes and pops up. I mean, I'll never yeah. forget that image in my mind. Like I had tears rolling down my face. Uh, that big guy should not be doing that gesture. You know, talking about he's quite a bit older than Jeremiah, but he looks in good shape too. Yeah, he looks like he could still be playing out there. Crazy. Uh, Nebraska 811 says, go dig red. Before you dig, always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free. It's easy. It's the law. That does it for us. Don't go away, though. Women's Basketball Show with Amy Williams, Matt Cookney coming up on the other side. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Step into the new year with a new Chevy. Discover the 2022 Traverse, Blazer, or Equinox. The Chevy SUV lineup brings more than looks to the table. Our SUVs come equipped with Chevy Safety Assist, so you can look and feel confident while driving. We make it easy to shop, finance, and purchase through our streamlined process. Find new roads and explore all our new inventory arriving daily at WoodhouseGM.com and at our dealership in Missouri Valley, Iowa. 
Attention anyone standing near a mud puddle. Trucks and bucks is back, so take cover. The Nebraska Lottery's most popular scratch game is roaring down the road again. And this year, we're giving away eight blue 2022 Ford F-150 XLT Super Crew Flex Fuel trucks. So buy a $2 Trucks and Bucks ticket today. You could win a new Ford F-150 and make a real splash in your neighborhood. Ford F-150 is a registered trademark owned and licensed by Ford Motor Company. Top prize odds, one in 336000 Momentum. It's building at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln with game-changing work in precision agriculture, nanoscience, and digital humanities. We're unlocking mysteries in brain research, solving the impossible with remote surgery using robots, and we're creating bold futures with world-leading research in early childhood education. We don't slow down, and we're not letting up. We are Nebraska. Flu season is here, and you can get your flu shot now at your Hy-Vee Pharmacy. It's easy, convenient, and you can schedule your appointment online. Just go to hyvee.com slash myPharmacy. Plus, when you get your flu shot at Hy-Vee, you get a 20-cent Hy-Vee fuel saver. This year, it's more important than ever to stay healthy. So go online to hyvee.com slash myPharmacy today to schedule your flu shot and get a 20-cent Hy-Vee fuel saver. Some restrictions may apply.
This is the Nebraska Women's Basketball Show with head coach Amy Williams. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Shelly, no look pass left side, Ruby Porter's three. You! Gotcha! The Australian connection off the assist of Shelly. Shelly looks to get it in. Deep left side, Izzy Bourne catches it. Scoggin for three on the deep left wing. You! Betcha! Off the assist from Izzy Bourne. The ball's coming off to Jaycott. A steal! Are you kidding me, Allison Widener? She got a steal. Drives in. She's fouled. She's going to shoot two. My goodness, Allison Widener. Humphrey, Nebraska. You need to give her the key to the city tonight. Kicks it back out top to Heidi. Heidi going to go in the lane. Floats it up. Bakes it in! Sim! Heidi's got seven. Bell on extended right side. Scoggin. She'll step into a three. You! Betcha! Career high 20th point for Ashley Scoggin. Here is your host, Matt Coatney, on the Huskers Radio Network. Welcome to the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Show. I'm your host, Matt Coatney. Amy Williams is here for the full hour. We'll take your calls and your text at 402-413-2400. In case you fans have forgotten how the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Hour works, because it's been three weeks since we did this. I am your host. I ask Amy Williams questions. She sits there. She looks at me. And I can judge from her facial reactions whether she likes the questions or not. She fakes pretty well when I ask her a tough question sometimes. And then if you guys don't uh, like the questions I'm asking, you call in at 402-413-2400. And if you don't want to be heard on the radio, you can text in. Our text line is the same number. We make it real easy for you. You only have one number to remember, 402-413-2400. And you might be outside taking a nice evening walk because, Amy Williams, the weather in Nebraska right now makes me think of softball. And Rhonda Revell has softball this week. I know you're a softball mom. I've never asked you this question, though. Did you play softball growing up like your, like your daughter does? I was not fortunate enough to get to play fast-pitch softball. So when I grew up in South Dakota, it was slow pitch in the summers only it wasn't a school sanctioned sport it wasn't anything i ever had access to so i uh played a lot of slow pitch softball but yeah. never any fast pitch i bet you would have been a great shortstop like yeah. kennedy is we'll take your calls for the four out full hour at 402-413-2400 huskers uh will continue a three game away from Lincoln stand in a two-game road trip. They're going to play at Ohio State on Thursday night and then uh, stay out and make the quick trip over to Champaign, Illinois and play there on, on Saturday for a makeup game. Nebraska is 17-5, and five, and uh, they have won four of their last five games since we resumed. We had a show, kind of kind of hard to remember, three weeks wasn't that long ago, but in basketball days it was an eternity ago thinking that we were getting ready to play Rutgers and then everything kind of shut down so I have to think that um, a lot has happened since we last had a show so we have a lot of room to cover the last game was a loss at number 17 Maryland 80 to 65 and uh, that was uh, the end of a, a, a pretty fast five games don't you think and then you've got three games in five days coming up so um, you know, coming out of that shutdown for health and safety protocols, you guys are all ready to play some games. Well, here they came, right? Yes, yes. They've been bam, 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 and, and a lot of, um, well, every day it feels like for the last however many weeks has been either an off day, a prep day, or a game day for us. So uh, today was the first day that we had a practice that was not an off day, a game day or a prep day. And so it provided us a really good opportunity to have some competition and practice and really get back to working on some things that we needed to really get better at. And um, it was a really welcomed day in our program. We'll take your calls and your text at 402-413-2400 and stand by for this. I have four tickets to give away to the Huskers' next home game against uh, number seven Indiana on Valentine's Day night. If you have forgotten your Valentine's Day gift, 
this is your chance to come up big with four free tickets to the Nebraska-Indiana game on Valentine's night. We will do that at the end of the first segment. We'll have a trivia question uh, that you can text and answer into at 402-413-2400. So be prepared uh, for that. Let's rewind to the Maryland game since that was the last game that you played, Amy. Fifth game in 11 days. Uh, the first four were at home. You went 4-0 and at home. And there have been some fans suggest to me that the sheer number of games plus the travel out to the Washington, D.C. area led to uh, Nebraska shooting 6 of 29 in the first half and getting down pretty big at the half. I, I would suggest that uh, the Terps are the defending league champs and are an amazing defensive team, especially at home. But how much does playing so many games in such a short amount of time factor into the shooting and against Maryland, especially in the first half? Um, if I hadn't really watched the film and seen um, the way that our pace wasn't what it needed to be and, and we were really kind of hesitant and there were some things that we didn't execute the way we wanted to to try to attack their defense and stuff, you know, I would maybe, you know, want to blame it on, you know, short amount of time. You know, I do think that to some degree a really short prep when you are preparing for a defense like Maryland's where – they, they're they comfortable having their five-player guard your one. They're comfortable with their one-player guarding your five. And they really tend to uh, overhelp. And, and so you need to look at attacking their defense a little differently. And when you really just have one day to kind of try to prep for that, um, sometimes it's harder to make the adjustments that you need to make as quickly. And I thought we settled in a little bit better in the second half out there at Maryland and, and um, obviously scored you know, 40 some points in the second half, which was a, a much better offensive output. But uh, initially, uh, we we weren't really uh, prepared. It took us a while to figure those things out and where our scoring opportunities were going to come from and the pace that we needed to play to get those scoring opportunities. And so I would um, I would blame that a little bit more than just um, five games in 11 days or or fatigue or anything like that. At one point, points off turnovers were 19 to zero in favor of the Terps. They had Diamond Miller out at the front. And a couple of times, you guys weren't even able to get past the free throw line on the other end. Um, with Diamond Miller at the front of their defense there, what, what kinds of things besides switching one through five did you feel like they were doing that really kind of led to that big disparity in points off turnovers in the first half? Well, I thought they just really slowed us down. I think they had us kind of on our heels, kind of guessing, you know, not, not really ev able to play with pace. And then once we did break the press and get into half-court offense, we continued to play with that lack of pace. And we didn't make hard cuts. We were not um, really threatening, moving the basketball with – with pace and speed and, and uh, finding ways to attack. And, and we just kind of let that press lull us into, um, into in not playing as aggressive offensively as we needed to. The Sports Nightly Hotline is brought to you by Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplify car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, and buy online at Woodhouse. Dot com and that number is 402-413-2400. We go to the phones right here in the capital city of Lincoln. It's Charlie. Charlie, you're first up with Coach Williams tonight. Good evening to both of you. Um, glad to get a chance to talk to you again. It's been a while. Um, Coach, I have a question for you. You were talking about handling pressure and stuff uh, against every team, and it happens seems for every year, forever, it seems like, especially Nebraska does this. When we're bringing the ball up against pressure, I am curious to why it seems like we'll get – I understand not going across half court because once you step across, get across the line, then you've got two more boundaries that the defense has to keep you trapped there. But you get almost to the line to cross midcourt, and the ball gets passed backwards to quite often almost under the basket of the opponent, which then makes it, to me, even tougher than to get across half court in 10 seconds. Years ago when there was no 10-second – count for women's basketball that wasn't as big a deal but nowadays it is a bigger deal so why do we do that yeah well thank you for the call and and um uh, breaking pressure is going to be something that will be very critical in our next ball game as ohio state's going to 
uh, press the whole game. And I think, you know, we have multiple press breaks and different options, but I think the, the biggest thing is that, you know, a defense is incredibly strong on one side. And you almost want to always get one or two ball reversals before to get their defense to have to shift Anytime you think you're just going to come down and go right across half court without ball reversal, they're ready for that. They're ready to trap. You're almost always going to be going into a trap zone. And so uh, we do that to be able to um, reverse the basketball and uh, get their defense to have to shift a couple times so that they are not as strong. Charlie, we appreciate the phone call. 402-413-2400 is the number if you'd like to visit with Coach Williams tonight. Our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions for every field. 402-413-2400. Um, still looking at that Maryland game, Amy. The Huskers had a season-low point total in the first half, just 20 points. Um, for the game, Jazz Shelley was 0 of 10 from the floor. Um, she and Alexis Markowski on the season are your two top leading scorers. They combined for just eight points. You know, they combined for about 25 on average. So it's hard to win if your two leading scorers are about 20 points below their average. Did you think Maryland was trying to take them away specifically in terms of, of trying to hold them below their scoring average? I mean, I, it's hard to imagine Jazz going 0 for 10 in any game the way she's played the rest of the season. I'm sure Maryland was keying their scouting report on, you know, certain players, but I think they're just really defensively they're very good about um, about trying to take you out of what you like to do. And I think, you know, our team is best when we can kind of play with pace and get paint touches. And I thought that um, Maryland did everything they could to kind of take those two things away from us and slow us down with their pressure and then just really over help to anything in the paint. And, um, and so um, those are things things that we're going to have to be able to counter. And I think we are more than capable of that. We have plenty of other players that can contribute for us offensively. And so uh, we just need to lean on, on those players. 402-413-2400 is our Woodhouse Auto Family hotline. You can call or text. Let's head back to the phones. Let's go out to Buffalo County to Kearney, Nebraska. Talk to Max. Max, you're on with Coach Williams. Good evening, Coach. I, I have a question. I noticed last week when you had this terrible string of games, it seems like every night. In some of the games, the kids looked like their legs were just really dead. I'm wondering why uh, Whitney Brown doesn't see more action. I mean, I, I was a high school coach for 24 years, and when you've got kids with dead legs, you've got other kids. She's a good ball player. I just wonder why she is completely out of the rotation this year when I thought she'd earned a spot from – last year. I'll hang up and listen for your answer. Thank you. Yeah, um, thanks for the call in, and, and um, I'm also a huge Whitney Brown fan. So um, the one thing that I'd say is, you know, one year ago we had seven players suiting up, and this year we have 13 players suiting up. So um, there's really just uh, a certain number of minutes in every game calls for different types of um, of. Uh, strengths and weaknesses and each one of our kids can bring certain strengths and certain weaknesses um, into the the game and um, you know we're we're constantly managing trying to um, put our team in the very best position to be able to do that and and I think um, you know at this point we are grateful to have such uh, great depth and um, it's a positive and it's allowed us to be able to go through a really tough stretch of a whole bunch of games in a short amount of time and we're about to do the same here coming up and so we're going to need to lean on that depth again and, and um, at any point in time we need 1 through 13 to be ready when their number is called. That call on our Sports Nightly Hotline is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, and buy online at woodhouse.com. That number is 402-413-2400. We'll take your text and your calls. We head back to the phones out in Hall County. Let's go to Grand Island. Here's Chuck. Chuck, you're on with Coach Williams. Hi, Amy. This is Chuck. I got a question I want to ask you that's driving me absolutely crazy for the last three weeks. 
about uh, two or three weeks ago, you were playing Iowa, and the first half that you played was as good as I've ever seen that team play. As they're going through this game, the announcers are talking about how there's no fouls. And they said, I can't believe this is true. And I've looked everywhere. I can't find it in the paper anywhere. At, at the half, they had no fouls against you. At the three minutes of the second half, they had no fouls. Is that true? And is that possible? Well, one thing I'll, I'll, I'll let you know, Chuck, and Jeff Reese has got this in the Nebraska game notes, um, that particular game marked the largest foul differential in program history by NU over the opponent, stretching 48 seasons. Um, the foul disparity was 28-7 to 7 there. So I think, I think that's the game he was talking about. That game seems like it was about a year ago now, doesn't it, with the – with the break, I think he's talking about the second Iowa game over there. It, so. They played so well in the first half, it was like the lights out because they, everything they were putting up, they were putting in, and they were playing good defense, and they were running very fast, which is about as good as they can run. And it was a, the first half, it was something like 30 points difference. And with that foul situation, if that's – to still 27 to or 28 to seven is a hell of a difference in fouls. Uh, you get to that by breathing on somebody in a normal game. And it's just it drove me crazy if that foul situation was even close to what you said. I can't believe that they would make that dip, make a difference in fouls between the two teams. Chuck, we appreciate the phone call. Thank you very much. Yeah, and I will say, Matt, that, um, you know, foul dis disparity and kind of differential, like we, we make it a goal of ours. We would like to be able to make more free throws than our opponent takes. And we have some control over that in some regards is to be able to, you know, we, we say uh, all the time, guard hard, but limit fouls. And, um, and you know, we want to, you know, continue to make that a point of emphasis, but you're right, it makes life very difficult when you are in a game and there is that large of a disparity in um, free throws attempted, free throws made. Chuck, we appreciate the phone call, 402-413-2400. Okay. Now, I've got four tickets for the Indiana game coming up on Valentine's Day night at Pinnacle Bank Arena. Get your fingers ready to text at 402-413-2400. The first person who has a correct answer to this trivia question picks up four general admission tickets to the Indiana game, which will be three games from now at Ohio State Thursday, at Illinois Saturday, and then the Huskers return home to take on the Hoosiers on Saturday. So text your answer to this to 402-413-2400. Nebraska women's basketball has four players who have scored at least 2,000 points in their career. Who was the first Husker women's basketball player to score 2,000 career points. Amy Williams is looking up in the air trying to think of the answer to this. The first Husker women's basketball player to score 2,000 career points. There's four of them. Who was the first? The first person to text the correct answer to 402-413-2400. Picks up four general admission tickets to Monday night's game at PBA against seventh-ranked Indiana. Matt Cotney and Amy Williams on the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Show. More of your calls and your text and the answer to the trivia question when we return in a few moments. Good ice cold Bud Light, Bud Light sells it here. Just go to BudLight.com slash delivery. Hey, Bud Light! How many? Whenever there's a game to watch, there's a Bud Light there. Enjoy responsibly in Heiser Bush, Bud Light Beer, and Bud Light Seltzer, IRC Beer, Beer in Texas, St. Louis, Missouri. Huskers fans, it's time to plan your dream trip to Ireland and see your team face the Northwestern Wildcats at Aviva Stadium in Dublin, Ireland. Single game tickets are on sale now at huskers.com forward slash Ireland. Start the 2022 season in the best way. Plan your dream trip to Ireland and see your team face the Northwestern Wildcats at Aviva Stadium in Dublin, Ireland. 
buy your single game ticket today at huskers.com forward slash Ireland. Hey folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. You're in the driver's seat with Woodhouse. Shop, finance, and buy your next vehicle your way. From the comfort of your home at Woodhouse.com or one of our 19 dealerships, we've got something for everyone. From new stylish SUVs that blend comfort and capability or a pre-owned truck packaged for durability and everyday functionality. When it's time to upgrade your drive, shop confidently with Woodhouse. Serving customers and communities since 1975, this is Woodhouse. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. From vintage sneakers to bacon scented soap to water fountains for your pet, all can be had with a few simple clicks. Problem is, you never really know what you're going to get until they show up at your door. Introducing Ford Blue Advantage. It's used car buying that's built for you. Not only can you shop for used vehicles online, in person, or both, you can also test drive before you buy, so you know exactly what you're getting. Plus, get history reports, vehicle inspections, Ford warranties, and the expertise of factory trained techs. Visit FordBlueAdvantage.com today. Here is a before winter to-do list from JTEC Construction. Let's start with windows. Triple pane window technology has saved homeowners countless dollars on heating and cooling bills. Siding serves a crucially important purpose, protecting your home and insulating it from adverse weather conditions. And don't forget about your roof. Designing your roof should be simple and painless, and JTEC offers several payment plan options. One more thing on your to-do list called JTEC Construction, the official exterior experts of the Huskers. If your business communication slows down, your business slows down. Kidwell can help. Kidwell streamlines your company's communications with phone systems that work the way you work, in the office or on the road. Kidwell systems provide the unified communications features your users demand, like voicemail to email, instant messaging, and calendar integration. And Kidwell will be there, providing training, service, and support to make sure you get the most out of your investment. Don't let communications problems slow down your business. Visit KidwellInc.com. Hey Husker fans, this is Anne-Marie from the Nebraska Beef Council. Just like the big red wins on the court, you can win at the dinner table with great tasting beef. From steaks and roasts to ground beef and kebabs, there are countless ways to create a meal that will have your family cheering for more. Visit beefitswhatsfordinner.com for easy beef recipes, cooking tips, and meal inspirations. Beef, it's what's for dinner in Nebraska. Brought to you by Nebraska's beef producers and their beef checkoff. Welcome back to the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Show. Matt Cotney and Amy Williams with you, and we have a winner of four tickets to the Indiana game on Monday, February the 14th. Congratulations to Roger Kuda of Platte Center, Nebraska. Roger had the correct answer to this question. Nebraska Women's Basketball has four players who have scored at least 2,000 points in their career, who was the first women's basketball player to score 2,000 points. The answer is Mortis Ivey. Tease ended her career with 2,131 points. Now third all-time, Karen Jennings, who was the National Player of the Year, Kodak Player of the Year, was first. Jordan Hooper was second. And then Kelsey Griffin 
in fourth place all time. But Martise Ivy, 2,131. So, Roger, what you need to do is come to the will call window on the south side of Pinnacle Bank Arena. That's the main entrance. Uh, your tickets will be there about an hour before the game. Uh, just identify yourself as Roger Kuda from Platt Center. There'll be four general mission tickets. And thank you for texting in at 402 413 2400. Uh, one of the reasons that we asked that trivia question uh, is uh, the Nebraska men's and women's basketball programs will be honoring and celebrating Black History Month uh, with a uniquely symbolic uniform. The jerseys will be born at a home game this month, part of Honoring Black Excellence Initiative. And February 14th, Amy, is when your team uh, will be wearing that uniform and also honoring Martise Ivy who was inducted in the Nebraska Athletic Hall of Fame last fall, led the Huskers to the Big 8 Conference Championship and the Huskers' first NCAA tournament appearance. Are, have your players seen the uniform? Are they pretty excited about that? Yeah, they've seen it. I've had a couple of the girls that got to kind of um, put it on and, and model it for some of the social media posts, and um, they think it's really cool. Roger, thank you. You had the correct answer there, so uh, you were the first one, so I appreciate you for doing that. Um, we had on our text line, and I do not have the name of the person, if you text at 402-413-2400, please uh, try and uh, give your name here. But here is um, here's a question. Uh, do coaches across the different sports in the athletic department have a lot of contact with each other? Are there leadership exercises or direct opportunities amongst the coaches to discuss ways to grow as a coach, leader, et cetera? Thanks. There are. There most certainly are um, opportunities for that, and and um, I feel incredibly blessed at the way that the other coaches here at Nebraska have poured into me, and I've been able to learn and pull from them. Um, we kind of on our own started doing a little um, the all the female um, head coaches, and you know, kind of getting together on occasion for just coffee to kind of share some ideas and different things that we face as as um, women, um, you know, coaching. But I think there are so many things that I've pulled from John Cook and John Walker and Rhonda Ravel and just different coaches across uh, the board. Where um, you know we have regular head coaches meetings that are structured and plenty of opportunities to uh, interact. And and uh, there's a genuine sense of um, of you know togetherness and camaraderie and and uh, desire to see everybody do well 402-413-2400 is the number if you'd like to visit with coach Williams tonight you can do that by phone call or text buckle up and put the phone down a reminder from the NDOT highway safety office let's go right up highway 77 to Saunders County and visit with Rob Rob you're on with coach Williams yeah, yeah, Coach, congratulations so far. But I, I got a question about that Iowa game in Lincoln. I, I was at the game, and towards the end of the game, uh, Clark got fouled, and she took off and ran the length of the court and, and did a layup, and then she taunted the crowd. I, I thought she should have got a technical or maybe even kicked out for that, but, but maybe I'm over overreacting. And my second question is, when, when Maggie Mendelson comes next year, uh, she, she, she can't play in two sports and games at the same time, but will she be able to practice once in a while? Or, you know, what's the rule on that? And I'll hang up and listen to you. Thank you. Thank you uh, for the call in and, um, and you know, really good questions. And, and um, you know, I think the, um, the, there, there has been a heavy emphasis on taunting. I've gotten some uh, videos from uh, our officials um, uh, across the board kind of group that's been sent to all head coaches. But I really think right now the emphasis in the taunting is more, um, you know, going at an opposing player with your taunting. And, you know, um, if there is a player that's really just trying to kind of pump up the crowd or kind of, you know, that kind of thing, then um, I think the officials are more inclined to, uh, to look past that if it's not directly aimed at an opposing player that could instigate something that would escalate into something that we nobody wants to see in our game. So, um, and then um, 
Right. Maggie Mendelson. Yeah, Maggie. <laughs> so, um, you know, the good news is is Coach Cook and I are are both just really on the same page, and, and we're going to allow Maggie, like, when she is participating with one team and they are in their season, that she's able to really lock in and focus and just um, practice and play with that team. Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, she may not um, – get into the gym and take some shots on her own, you know, while the volleyball season is happening, you know, something that would not put her at risk for injury. Or it doesn't mean that, you know, while she's competing with us on the basketball court that she's not going to on an off day get in and, you know, get some swings on um, the volleyball or, or whatever. But, um, but for the most part, uh, both Coach Cook and I are in agreement and on the same page with allowing her to not risk, you know, injury or anything by jumping out into a live practice for one sport while she's competing um, in the other. I know when I talk to fans, it's one of the things I think that they're most impressed with is the fellowship and the camaraderie and the way you and Coach Cook seem to have approached recruiting a complete elite athlete who is elite in two different sports. It's, I think it talks about just the culture of the university, but more about the two of you that you can work together on that. Because, quite honestly, you don't see that everywhere. You know, it's it uh, you've it's got to make you feel pretty good that the two of you worked together on recruiting this. By, by all accounts, a great athlete. Then. Yeah, well, absolutely. It was a great team effort, and, and uh, everybody at Nebraska, not just Coach Cook and his staff and me and my staff, I think those that's kind of where it started, but um, the, the people in the Nebraska Athletic Performance Lab, our sports scientists, our, um, uh, both of our strength and conditioning coaches, our athletic trainers, really coming together collectively as a performance team, and it's lots of people at Nebraska that um, have worked Work together to 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 make this a possibility for an elite athlete. Our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres solutions for every field. We are visiting with Coach Amy Williams as the Huskers get set to travel to Ohio State and take on uh, the Buckeyes on Thursday evening. You can talk to Coach Williams or text on our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline at 402-413-2400. I want to talk a little bit about Ashley Scoggin, who had um, career highs in points with 20 in the game against Maryland, and career highs in three-pointers with six, career high with four steals. And it just seems like she played with a lot more aggressiveness on the floor, especially on the really the defensive end with four steals. Uh, what, is there anything that's changed with Ashley's game, or how did you feel about her performance? Yeah, I thought she went in with a certain mindset in that Maryland game, and she was aggressive. And, and uh, you know, four steals, it was evident just with her activity on the defensive side of the ball. And... Uh, created some offense for us by creating some steals and opportunities to get the ball going and then I just thought was was very aggressive coming down if you were backing off of me in the second half you know I'm going to do what I do best and attack and shoot this three and and I thought she just had an aggressive mindset um, and we needed that from her. 402-413-2400 is the Sports Nightly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first. 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplify car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, and buy online at woodhouse.com. I um, talked to you after the Penn State game uh, during our postgame show, and I asked you a two-word question. Allison Widener. That was just the question. It, she's given you huge lifts off the bench lately. She's uh, had her career high twice in the four-game homestand with 14 points. I was really impressed late in the Penn State game. She took a charge from McKenna Marisa, which to me was kind of a dagger play in the game, um, stealing the ball. And uh, she right now, you know, you, you hope with freshmen that you can see a change between game one and – where you know game 22 and I think there's been you know a, a measurable difference in the comfort level that Allison Widener has out there but I want to talk to you especially def defensively because it seems to me if 
if you feel good about your defense, your your offense kind of follows with it. Is that kind of what's going on with her? Yeah, I mean, I think she is uh, getting more comfortable. She just is getting more comfortable and confident out there on the floor. I think uh, she is, um, you know, sparking. I thought particularly in that Penn State game, she sparked some things offensively with defense and, and came away with a couple critical steals and the charge that you mentioned. Um, she's really uh, great at controlling pace and, and really putting pushing tempo and um, as she's gotten more comfortable with um, you know play calls and what she can you know run and how she can kind of organize the team from the point guard position then um, we've seen her confidence just continue to rise and um, that Penn State game it was kind of a shot in the arm of just confidence I thought she really took the opportunity that she had and just ran with it and um, she's just continuing to find ways to get better and take um, the bull by the horns with you know the minutes and opportunity that are coming her way and capitalizing. Huskers are 17 and 5. When we return, we'll talk about another Husker freshman who has been the Big Ten Freshman of the Week six times. We will uh, discuss more about Husker freshmen. We'll talk about Ohio State coming up. We'll take your phone calls and your text at 402 413 2400. When the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Show returns in a few moments. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today we're tackling the issue of GMOs, or genetically modified organisms. GMOs may sound scary, but they're actually benefiting our environment and consumers. That's because GMO crops help solve specific problems like insects, food waste, and droughts. By selecting good traits from one plant or organism and adding them to another, farmers are safely using science to produce high-quality foods better than ever before. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's Corn and Soybean Farmers. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska's new collaborative biosecurity lab is leading research to safeguard America's food supply against growing threats in partnership with the U.S. Departments of Defense and Homeland Security. The lab brings together world-leading expertise in agriculture and a deep understanding of the complexities of strategic deterrence across the threat spectrum and in multiple domains. Drives it all the way in, changes hands, and hits it, and then one. He draws the foul. What a great move by Bryce McGowan's down the alley, and the Huskers take the lead. Holy cow, a shake and bake mac and cheese move. Hey, Huskers fans, Huskers Hoops is back in action as Nebraska hosts Minnesota tomorrow at PBA. Pre-game coverage begins at 6 p.m. Central with tip-off at 7. Tune into your local affiliate or by visiting Huskers.com or using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today's topic, animal agriculture. There's been a lot of talk suggesting that giving up meat is good for the environment. However, livestock emissions only account for less than 4% of greenhouse gas emissions, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. Also, by reducing meat in your diet, you're missing out on all sorts of beneficial nutrients like protein, iron, and zinc. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he's so cold. The furnace is out again. But wait, he sees an opening. SOS, SOS, he screams and calls 391-2336. SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer. Boy, he made the right call today as SOS is already on the way. SOS is your trustworthy company since 1950, and with Luxair, you get free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. Call 391-2336 or visit soshvac.com today. Okay, let's get a photo of the bride and groom standing next to that giant mud puddle. Good. Now smile. Oh, 
Honey, don't look now, but you're covered in mud. Oh, so is your white tux. You know what this means, don't you? Trucks and Bucks from the Nebraska Lottery is back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh. This is the happiest day of my life. Don't you think we should head to the nearest Nebraska Lottery retailer? I do. Trucks and Bucks is back, and you could win one of eight new trucks. Top prize odds one in 336,000. Bell on extended right side, Scoggins. She'll step into a three. You betcha. Career high 20th point for Ashley Scoggin and a timeout for Maryland. Hey, Nebraska fans, Huskers women's hoops is off to Columbus to take on the 21st ranked Buckeyes this Thursday. Pre-game coverage begins at 5.45 p.m. Central with tip-off at 6. Tune into your local affiliate or by visiting Huskers.com or using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. If you're driven by an adventurous heart, you're in luck. The 2021 Subaru Outback shares your spirit. It will take you as far as you want to explore with standard symmetrical all-wheel drive. It'll get you off the beaten path with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, more than Toyota RAV4 or Honda Passport. It's the best Outback ever. The 2021 Subaru Outback. Go where love takes you. Comparison based on competitor information for manufacturer websites as of July 2020. Visit Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue or at BeardmoreSubaru.com. Hello, I'm Tom Osborne. And I'm Coach Frost. Statistics prove that youth who are mentored and receive support and guidance from a caring adult show measurable improvement in academic achievement, motivation to succeed, and hope. Over the past 30 years, Teammates has served more than 43,000 youth, and right now there are more than 1,000 waiting for a Teammates mentor to visit with them once a week in school. For more information on how you can help the Teammates Mentoring Program, please go to teammates.org, and thank you for supporting our youth. Sponsored by Nebraska Crossing Fast Cash App. Hey friends, Nebraska 811 says, go dig red. Before you dig, always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free, it's easy, it's the law. Matt Coatney with you. And the coach, Amy Williams, on the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Show. 402-413-2400 is the number if you'd like to call or text. Ask a question to Coach Williams. Okay, so no truth to the rumor. Uh, that the weekly award from the Big Ten will be renamed the Big Ten Freshkowski of the Week Award or the Alexis Man of the Year. But six times Alexis Markowski has either been the Big Ten Freshman of the Week. She's a co-Big Ten Freshman of the Week last week. Look at these numbers. Last week she averaged 14 points, 10 rebounds, uh, 1.3 steals, 16 points a career high, 15 rebounds, in the win over Rutgers, two days later, 18 points in the win over Penn State, 12 rebounds against Maryland. So 22 games into her freshman season, compared to where you thought Alexis Markowski might be right now in the middle of February, how do you feel about her development from October to the middle of February right now? Well, to be honest with you, I really, um, I've kind of learned to just put aside what I thought, you okay. know, was going to, ha- you know, where she, you know, and just really kind of just lock in on, you know, the fact that um, she continues to find ways to uh, get better and keep believing and, and um, keep that belief um, with our team. And I'm just really proud of her. Um, there are some really good freshmen in our conference and and um, so for her to continue to keep producing for her team and um, but the whole time she just keeps the priority on our team and our ability to win and um, wanting to be a great teammate and it's not really about her and it's about you know and um, that's the that's the best thing about Alexis Markowski and the, the joy that she is to coach. I think the thing that I've noticed which is so hard for a freshman, and sometimes seniors don't get there. She seems to not let the previous play affect her next play. Um, basketball is is meant to fail. If you're a great shooter from the three-point line, you shoot 40%, meaning six out of 10 times you fail. If you're a great free throw shooter, two out of 10 times you fail. And it seems to me that Alexis Markowski if she misses a shot or she gets called for a foul, it's over. And that's a pretty mature thing for me to observe. Am I wrong on that? I mean, do you ever notice that with her? Or does 
Absolutely. Does she let things bother her? Yeah, like, no, we, we as a coaching staff have talked about that a lot is that, you know, that's what belief looks like. That's what confidence looks like is that um, when and, and it is going to happen. So it is when uh, mistakes happen or you miss a bunny or something, you know, goes wrong is that you really believe the next time you're going to get it right. And she has that. And, you know, it's almost like, you know, we've gotten to a point if, if she had a bad quarter, it's like, well, we know she isn't going to have two bad quarters in a row uh, because she generally – uh, does bounce back, you know, and, and finds a way to just move on to the next play. That's a, it is a mature thing. It is a, um, it's a part of mental toughness. It's a part of um, her character, and I'm so glad that it is. Hey, Dorothy Lynch Homestyle and Light and Lean Dressing, endless flavor abilities, proud sponsor of Sports Nightly and the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Hour. When we return, we'll talk a little bit more about what's coming up for the Huskers. 402-413-2400. If you'd like to talk to the coach, we'll be back with you in just a few moments. From vintage sneakers to bacon-scented soap to water fountains for your pet, all can be had with a few simple clicks. Problem is, you never really know what you're going to get until they show up at your door. Introducing Ford Blue Advantage. It's used car buying that's built for you. Not only can you shop for used vehicles online, in person, or both, you can also test drive before you buy, so you know exactly what you're getting. Plus, get history reports, vehicle inspections, Ford warranties, and the expertise of factory-trained techs. Visit FordBlueAdvantage.com today. Attention anyone standing near a mud puddle. Trucks and bucks is back, so take cover. The Nebraska Lottery's most popular scratch game is roaring down the road again. And this year, we're giving away eight blue 2022 Ford F-150 XLT Super Crew Flex Fuel trucks. So buy a $2 Trucks and Bucks ticket today. You could win a new Ford F-150 and make a real splash in your neighborhood. Ford F-150 is a registered trademark owned and licensed by Ford Motor Company. Top prize odds won in 336000 Congratulations, you're having a little girl. At that moment, everything changed. Our hopes and dreams for ourselves were instantly replaced by our hopes and dreams for her. We got life insurance policies from Shelter Insurance, so that regardless of what life throws at us, we'll still be able to provide the world to her. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. See shelter agents Tanya Blaine or Jesse Dunbar in Norfolk or Agent Bud Morell in Ogallala. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at FNBO.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. At Union Bank, people don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats, dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car in your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Hey, welcome back to our remaining uh, minutes with Coach Amy Williams. I'm Matt Coatney here on the Nebraska Women's Basketball Radio Show. Buckle up and put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. The Huskers are going to do, uh, it's going to bring me back to my days in the Missouri Valley Conference with travel partners where you went out on a two-game road trip. Now, lots of schools do it, but not usually in the Big Ten. You're going to play Ohio State Thursday night and squeeze in a game at Illinois Saturday, and 
you're, then you'll be caught up, right? I mean, how did you, how, how did you feel about going from Columbus to, to Champaign? That's really the only thing that makes sense there instead of coming back to Lincoln Thursday night, right? Right, yeah. I mean, that um, that will obviously ease a lot of the, the travel and we'll just stay on the road Friday, uh, get to Champaign and practice and prepare uh, for that next game on Saturday. And then uh, coming home Saturday night and then one day to prep and turn around and play Indiana on, at home on Monday. So um, the one thing, you know, I'm glad that we were able to learn from this um, the the one game we had to sneak in for Rutgers and it gave us an opportunity to do three games in um, eight days or yeah. whatever it was and now we're going to do that again this time there will be some road games mixed in there but with really only having the the kind of travel one time you know going out traveling to the next spot and then coming back home that I think will ease some of that. Let me swing over to academics for a moment. Before the Wisconsin game, Izzy Bourne was given a great honor. She was awarded the first ever endowed scholarship to a Nebraska women's basketball player, the Latimer Family Women's Basketball Scholarship. Uh, it says it recognizes a Husker who combines a high level of academic and athletic achievement, effective leadership skills, integrity, and commitment to excellence in all endeavors. That describes Izzy perfectly. You have to be so proud that Gary and Janet Latimer made that scholarship available and that she was the first recipient and that's one of your players, don't you think? Absolutely. I'm really proud. I can't think of anybody better than Izzy to uh, to be able to represent that and, and receive that scholarship um, this first time. Um, I think uh, that it would be crazy if I didn't use this opportunity to just say how thankful um, our program is uh, to the Latimer family for that um, that gift and their support and um, their friendship and uh, of Husker Athletics and just incredibly grateful for, for that. Uh, I think it's a huge step for our program and just a, a great honor for Izzy and, and um, I'm glad that she was recognized in that way. You know, in the 23 years I've been part of the program now, if someone were to say to me, pick a couple of people who you think illustrate Nebraska women's basketball. I'd pick Dominique Kelly, Chelsea Obrey, who was the captain of the Canadian national team, and Izzy Bourne. I, I just think that there's nothing about Izzy that I'm not proud of, of how she represents the team, but um, she really is what I keeps me wanting to do this. You know, she embodies the student part of student athlete and the athlete part of student athlete. What was her reaction? How, how did she find out she was getting this? Where, I mean, obviously you were involved in this, but, but kind of take me through how she found out about it. Yeah, you know what's really fun uh, about the story is when Izzy said, you know, Coach, I'm so grateful. Um, she said, my mom kind of started crying when oh. she found out about this news. And, um, you know, so I think just that tells you how uh, how much it meant to Izzy and her family. And so um, this is something that uh, I could tell that she was uh, grateful, uh, thankful, and also um, just quite proud of that moment. Well, she and the Huskers will be on the road. Ohio State on Thursday night. Kevin McGuff's team, they've beaten Maryland. They've beaten Iowa. Barely got by Rutgers the other night, though. What makes Ohio State so good? Well, they are an incredibly high-powered offense that's just sparked by two very explosive guards that can both, you know, their whole team shoots it well from behind the arc. They're the number one three-point shooting team in the league, and that can, uh, makes them have an incredibly explosive offense. Um, they also like to full-court press and get after you and create some offense from defense. So uh, you have to really be prepared for handling that and, and being able to stay in sync with your uh, strengths as a team um, against a really aggressive defense. So it, it'll be a tough game on the road, and, and um, I'm just excited for that challenge. 5.45 Central is our pregame show with Jeff Grish. Joining me, 6 o'clock Central with the tip. The Huskers and Ohio State. Huskers beat Ohio State last year. Kate Keene almost had a triple-double in that game, so we're looking forward to that. Then we'll stay out on the road. We're going to one of my favorite restaurants in the Big Ten, if I read the itinerary correct, an Italian restaurant, Champagne, so I'm looking forward to that. Amy Williams, thank you very much. Enjoyed it tonight. Thanks, Matt. 
Thank you very much. Good night, Nebraska. 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. United Healthcare believes small businesses are vital to our economy and an important part of our communities. Join United Healthcare in celebrating small businesses. I'm Rob Broomfield, United Healthcare of Nebraska CEO and a graduate of the University of Nebraska. We want to recognize your small business with the spotlight on small business sweepstakes. Winners receive radio interviews, social media recognition, and more. To enter, visit huskers.com front slash spotlight. United Healthcare, proud partner of Husker Sports. You could win a 2022 Porsche Macan from Porsche Omaha this season. Four lucky Husker fans will have a chance to win a 2022 Porsche Macan if they make a putt on the court at halftime at one of four home men's basketball games this season. Each contestant will receive a pair of tickets, hospitality, and a visit with the broadcast team before one of the home games with Ohio State, Rutgers, Northwestern, or Iowa. For more information and the official rules, go to huskers.com slash putt. Here is a before winter to-do list from JTEC Construction. Let's start with windows. Triple pane window technology has saved homeowners countless dollars on heating and cooling bills. Siding serves a crucially important purpose, protecting your home and insulating it from adverse weather conditions. And don't forget about your roof. Designing your roof should be simple and painless, and JTEC offers several payment plan options. One more thing on your to-do list called JTEC Construction, the official exterior experts of the Huskers. When you're a sports fan, it's kind of like having a new love interest. You want to know all about them. Only, instead of learning about someone's third grade crush, you want to know the latest scores, stats, and lineups. To get that, you need Cox Internet. Cox gives you that window to look deeply into your beloved team's soul. Not to mention their injury list. 